Okay, so here we are at our mint garden. It's right outside the portable by the steps. Uh, this is what we use to make our classroom tea. So we just come out here, we pick some leaves, we put it in some hot water, let it soak a while, and then we have a minty flavored water, which is tea. Uh, we have a bunch of different varieties in here. Uh, you can tell the difference a little bit, but there's also little tags to tell you what's in that area. So over here, we have orange mint. And what you can do is you can just pick off a little piece of the leaf, chew it up. That one's pretty good. Um, and you can swallow it. And it's delicious. Back here we have uh, peppermint, which is a nice wintertime flavor. That one's got a strong flavor to it. And then spearmint, that one's got a strong flavor to it too. Very spearminty. In the middle, we have some chocolate mint. It's a nice smooth flavor. It doesn't, it doesn't taste real chocolatey, but it's got a hint of it there. And then over here on the end, which is my favorite one, we have pineapple mint. So that one's got a nice flavor to it. I enjoy that one. So when you start getting leaves on your mint that you've planted, you can pick them and you can eat them or you can make some tea with them. We're going to plant our plant today. Okay. In your big bag o' learning or big o' bag o' learning, you have a seed kit. So you have a flower pot. Yours looks a little different than mine. And you have a pack of seeds and you've got a baggie full of dirt. So what you're going to do is now you probably have too much dirt that will fit into your pots. That's okay. I didn't want to give you too little. Better to have too much than too little. So what you're going to do is your pot does not have to be clear full. It's best don't fill your pot clear full. You want a little bit. So see how much I have there? Because uh, it may fill with water. You don't want it to overflow. And you don't want dirt falling out. So you just want that much. So if you have extra dirt in your container, maybe you have another plant you could put it on. Maybe you could just put it on some, uh, put it under some plants outside. So uh, you don't need the extra dirt. Maybe you want to plant two containers. Maybe you have another container laying around and you could divide up your seeds and maybe plant two containers of seeds. So that's an option as well. Uh, so you want to fill up your pot about yay far. So at least a finger width. I think in your pot you may want to have like two fingers widths uh, at the top. So your dirt would just come up to there. So that's a good rule of thumb to fill your pot up with. Uh, you also have a hole at the bottom. Now I should have told you this before I put the dirt in, but I folded up a paper towel and put that there to cover up the dirt so the dirt doesn't fall out, but the water can drain out because that's what the hole is for. So the water can drain out so your plant isn't soaking in water because that's not good for the plant. So I just folded up a little piece of paper towel, put it at the bottom. The water can still drain out, but all your dirt's not gonna drain out with the water. And then you are going to put it on top of something else, like a plate or an old lid or something, because when you water it, the water's going to come out, the holes at the bottom, and you don't want it making a mess all over the house. So put it um, in something. I'm just putting mine in an old butter dish that we use for painting. Okay. Uh, so we've got the flower pot. We've got a folded up paper towel on the bottom. We've got some soil in it. And now we are ready for the seeds. So now we're going to take our seeds. And what you have are peppermint seeds. See, it says peppermint seeds on it. So yours are going to taste pepperminty. So that's going to be a good flavor for the winter months coming up to make your tea. So what you're going to do, you're going to open the top like so. Now, it says here, gives you some good information, it's a perennial. That means it's going to keep growing year after year after year. You don't have to keep replanting them. Like the ones that we have out front, the portable, we planted those several years ago, and they're still 
growing. They just kind of keep on growing throughout the year. And they need full sun. So you're going to want to find a sunny window. Or for right now, you can leave them outside. But when it starts getting really cold and like freezing and things, you may want to bring it inside. They're pretty hardy, so you can leave them outside. But uh, it, you can bring them inside too. So it, it's up to you. And then you have, it says two and a half months for it to become full grown. So you're going to have a little bit of a wait. So you got to take care of it. You got to take care of the baby seeds. Now, when you open it up, they are going to be super duper tiny. So they are teeny, teeny, tiny, and you've got a whole lot of them in there. So what you're going to do, gonna, there's no way you can like place them individually in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle all of them just all around the dirt, all over there. Sprinkle them all over. So they're all out. Then, I just got dirt on my computer. Oops. Okay. Now, I'm just going to kind of poke it not super hard. I just want to tuck them in so they're in there firmly. They don't move around. And then I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of dirt on top. Not a whole lot. Just sprinkle a little tiny bit on top and then kind of pat that down. Tuck them in there good. So they're getting those nutrients. And now this is the tricky part. Now it's time to water them. Don't overwater your plant, but don't underwater your plant either. So you don't want water sitting in it, but you don't want it to be completely dry either. So every other day, just kind of check on it, see if it needs a little bit of water. So I'm just going to drizzle some water just so it all the top part gets wet because the seeds right now are super duper tiny. They just need the top part to be wet. They don't need a whole cup of water in there because then they're going to float around and it's not going to be good for them. All right, so just a little bit of water. Just keep the top moist. If you have a spray bottle, you can just spray it or you can just, uh, like I did, just put a little bit of water in a cup. Just kind of pour it in there gently and then set it in a sunny spot because it needs a lot of sun. Again, you can do it inside or outside. It's going to get real sunny here. Probably is sunny today when you're seeing this. And it can stay outside. Our mint that we have outside in the garden, it stays outside all year long, even in the wintertime. So you can leave it outside as well. It just needs to be somewhere where it can get all the sun that it, um, that it can. Okay. So talk nicely to your plants and... I hope it grows for you. Yay! Now that you have your seeds planted, we are going to make your plant log. So we are in your science notebook. We are on the page after your phenology wheel. And at the top here, we are going to call this plant log. And I... I'm just going to green it up a little bit just because it's about plants. So I want it to represent plants. So I'm just going to, you know, do a little border here. Make it look a little fancy. Put some leaves on it. Because it is a plant log, you know. There we go. At least make it look nice so when we look at it, it'll be enjoyable to look at. Maybe it'll help us want to keep our information a little better. Put a big one here. Put one here. Whoops, my veins and my leaves are going the wrong way. It is just an artistic rendering, so that's fine. Now let's put one down here and let's put one here 
and I'm just gonna shade those in a little bit. Okay, now that I have it looking fancy, now we can get our information down. All right. So plant log. First thing you need to do is put the date planted. Well, no, before we do that, uh, plant. This means the kind of plant that you're keeping the log for. for. So what we are going to do is get the information from our uh, package. So we have peppermint. We're going to write that down. And then after that, you see something in italics. Piperita. Oh, look at that. There's my name. <laughs> I didn't even play on that. All right. So that is a, a specific kind. So if you Google that, you will find that it is a hybrid mint a cross between a water mint and spearmint indigenous to Europe and the Middle East. That means it's native to there. The plant is now widely spread and cultivated in many regions of the world. It is occasionally found in the wild with its parent species. Mm, interesting. Okay, so that's what we have, peppermint. <coughs> Excuse me. And so we are going to... Uh, so we got our plant date planted. You are going to be planting yours on September 30th. So check the date. If you don't plan it on the 30th, put whatever date it is that you're planting it. Uh, now, the reason that we are doing this is because we want to keep track of how long it takes to grow. So these say that it takes two and a half months for uh, full growth. So we want to see if that actually happens. So date planted, September 30th. And then um, what we are going to do is when you start to have sprouts, so... Uh, first sprout, you're going to, well, you don't have to do something every day because something new is not going to happen every day. So first sprout, you're going to want to record the date for that. And so you're going to put the date there, first sprout. Um, and then let's see when we start to have first sprouts and then let's go from there. Okay, so the first date that we're looking for is the first sproutings. So let's see how long it's going to take for that. Exciting!